Welcome between these hallowed hedges, Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where they've had a little chicken, they've had a little drink, and friends, it's time once again to let the big dogs eat. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see the number 17 team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Georgia about to kick it off to get us underway. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And the returner will be brought down. So the Clemson Tigers return team certainly didn't do the offense any favors there. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling, the temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Got it behind the line. It's Brown. Ball is free. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Man, that's a big mistake. And listen, I'm still going to force feed my playmakers. If I'm that quarterback, I'm that OC, I'm walking over to that guy. But listen, it's okay. It's a little bit of a mistake. We're still going to find ways to get you the rock. You're too important to this team not to give you the football. Looking for a productive play on first down. They go to the ground. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Now on second and goal. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. And he got nothing, and the line of scrimmage is still the five-yard line. It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position here. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counterpunch and attack this defense? And he's got it! Touchdown, Georgia! And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7 0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a five yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Out of the gun to give to the back. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. 
Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking for a man, it's Klubnik. It's complete to the left. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And I think everybody wants to run the option nowadays, but the problem is, can everybody read it? you got to be able to stick the ball in the belly of the running back, and you have to be able to understand, or I'm pitching it to him. Whatever the read is, you can tell he was a little bit confused, a little bit slow, and that's why the defense won this round. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. It's caught downfield. And a big game there. He's knocked down immediately at the 45. Well, there's a great example of the receiver working back to his quarterback on the curl route against man coverage. He drives back towards the football, makes the catch, and gets the first down. Clemson set up with another first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Back to the ground with the running back. Trust that arm out. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. It's a thing at Clemson to run downhill, literally, usually when they enter the stadium. But sometimes it feels like this running game's doing that. They run down the hill, and, and a lot of times not, they don't stop, Reese, because they keep the tempo and they keep the foot on the gas. And that's what Clemson's kind of built this offense on is, is tempo, trying to wear you out. And they slip in the run game and the quick passing game and the running QB and so many things to look at. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the play fake. Shoots it to the left. It's complete. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field, and they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Yeah, what a great job by the defense. you got to understand, it's physical time, right? They want to run the football when they start getting inside the five. Nice job getting penetration, getting the tackle for the loss. And the D deny them on second and goal. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Trying to get it done with the run here on third and goal. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Man, it has been a long drive offensively. I just feel like you got to pay this off and be aggressive. You're down close. Punch it in for a touchdown here, Pollock. Yeah, and inside the three-yard line, I think I might try to finish this off with a touchdown. I ate up a ton of clock, wore these guys out. Now they'd have to go the length of the field if I missed. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Tigers. 
And how about this offense? A big situation on fourth and goal, and you trust your running back. You trust your offensive line. You trust the physicality of this unit, and they reward that trust, and they punch it in for six. Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll bring it out. It's Bell. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. The give from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Looking downfield, it's back. Unloads to the wideout. Right through his hands and incomplete, and he'll want that one back. It'll be third down. Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab. Running toward the tape. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. The Bulldogs come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. He's looking to throw. And they got him for the sack. If you plan to deal with the Tigers, you better be able to handle their defensive front. They have a whole legacy of this dating back to the fridge, William Perry. A big old legacy, and it seems like every year they rotate so many guys that are so highly recruited, so good. Just great players. They're always big and strong and fast and physical, and they get after your quarterback. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Coverage team does a good job and touches it dead. No return on this one. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. This could be a real turning point in the game. They couldn't find any way to get out of the end zone, and they get him for a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field, put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. After giving up that safety, they'll have to boot it away and give it right back to them. 
On the return, it's Smith. Line gets set, first down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. He'll keep it himself. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Really nice job by the defense shutting down all the options. Don't let him get into his reading phase. Go get him right now, play sound, and more importantly, tackle him and get him on the ground. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw its back. They've got the screen set up. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Third down, man. You'd think this offense would want to throw it down the field, at least past the sticks. With this defense and their athleticism and speed, they gobbled him up behind the line of scrimmage. Georgia lining up to put it away. job and they get him stopped at the 22 yard line. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Can hang on and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. That's a throw the QB would like to have back. He just has to do a better job giving his receiver a chance to make the catch. After missing the connection last time, it's second and ten from the 22. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Mafa. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out of the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. They're getting this guy lathered up. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played. And no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail. And I think the sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way up. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now you're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. 
The dogs have had a long history of scrappy and efficient quarterbacks. Add a little star power to it, and you've got something working. You definitely get a little extra something, something. We see it all across college football. You find that dude at the quarterback spot. It takes you from good to great, and you've seen that with Georgia over the last several seasons. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. Man, this defense, they have got to get better in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, this offense might hang 50 on you by the end of the game. The Dogs will try to punch it in on first and goal. To the air, it's back. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Dogs! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. This offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of, and they've done that so far here today. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Coming out with it, it's Haynes. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped up to 15. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give to the tailback. Strong run to get it out to the 21-yard line. They pick up of six. Yeah, and a great job by the offensive line, seeing the blitz, picking it up, and then it's on the running back. Running back finds a hole, gets a little bit of a crease, makes a nice run out. Better find the earplug. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's Klubnik. Fires to the big fella. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. They didn't get too greedy there. They knew what they needed, and he gets it just past the sticks. Yeah, and I'd like to see the defense maybe be a little bit more aggressive, a little more in the face, because QBC's easy access. I'm going to throw the football. My receiver's got a little bit of space. He can get the first down. I'd like to see the defense make him work for it a little bit more. They're going back to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the offense is trying to run the counterplay into the boundary. Those pulling linemen, though, actually led extra linebackers to the point of attack, and as a result, they were able to get a tackle for loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Give to the back. Tackle was made at the 28 after a pickup of three. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed over the middle, it's Brown. Put it right on him, sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They'll throw it on first down. Quick completion on the out route. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. That's just a tremendous individual effort by the defender. He's able to defeat his block and get to the ball and get the ball down on the ground. Very, very nice job. A 
They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. From the gun, the ground game. And he's brought down after a nice game. This Tiger running game starting to show some juice, sort of a C.J. Spiller type of feel. Yeah, and it doesn't always hit you early. It doesn't always hit you on the first possession, but I do think they've done a good job over the years, Clemson, with sticking with the run game, creating that balance, trying to get those first downs, and trying to create some tempo against your defense. Got his man quickly. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. Well, and you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. Clemson ready to go back to work with another first down. Red pass, it's complete. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Love the decision-making by the quarterback there on the RPO play. Defense took everything away deep down the field, so just check it down, get it to your guy in the right flat, and let him go get you. Clemson is quick to the line. They'll try the right side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. This drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. Wants to throw. It's Klubnik. They're bringing heat. Got some room in it. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Clemson! Timely decisions, effective play management helps him get in the end zone after that marathon drive. And every time the offense needed to play, boom, they got it. I mean, you think about it. Whether it's a small run, small pass, whatever they needed, they got it done, and they popped it in for the score. unit on the field. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a 17-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there getting set. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays. You get worn out. You need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer now is on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. One big play, and now they've got it at the 42-yard line on first down. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. To the air. It's back. Zings it complete to the right. They make the stop after the catch. And still some work to do to pick up that first down. You complete some of these hitch throws early. You're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that. And then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Passing game, very effective on second down. What about here on third? They'll try to get the first through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Lovett. 
And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Ball spotted at the 27. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. Takes a hit as he fires. It's all spotted in the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but they're in the red zone at the 14. How many first downs is that alone? You know, just on this drive, the defense, they keep this up. They're going to get worn out and continue to have to play more and more guys. They got to do something to change this. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Georgia. Georgia ready to dial it up on another first down. He's going to pass. Had it in his hands and he dropped it. Thought he had another big play and interception. He'll have to settle for the PBU. It's second down. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw, it's back. He's got him still on his feet. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. Right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. Georgia heads to the line with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And they can't punch it in with a first down run. And the defense has one stop. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? They'll put the tight end in motion. Looking for the end zone on second and goal. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. The offense will quickly use a timeout. Timeout, Georgia. That defensive front was a stone wall on second down. Now it's third and goal from the one. From the gun, wants to pass. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up, and keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and they have a nine-point lead. 75 yards on the touchdown drive. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down for this offense. The give to the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. 
Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Clemson will kick this deep to get the second half underway. He'll start the return inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Snagged in the middle. It's love it. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. And for DBs out there trying to stop these short slant routes against man coverage, being physical is really key. You want to get your hands on the wide receiver and really try to disrupt that timing between the QB and his target. Grabbed behind the line. It's Love it. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. So it's not just a strong running game. The dogs can be dangerous with those weapons up top. And I think when you've seen Georgia really dominate in college football over the last several years, it's because they've been more aggressive, more willing to throw the football early downs, trust their quarterback, not just the ground game. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Might as well give it to him again. Sweet cut there. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The play action fake. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. Back to throw, it's back. Got his man downfield. He's running free down the middle. Touchdown, Georgia! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Peter. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. Getting aggressive here and going for two. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab in the end zone for the two as they extend the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished it with an explosive play in the passing game, scoring from 47 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. 
Trailing now by 17, David. This is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down in the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on the board. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Hey, it's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance. And I mean, you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. You've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. And they did right there. On the run, it's Mafa. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Clemson jumps to the line. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. Dances away to buy time. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Clemson! And they take it in for six more points. And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You could tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 31-21. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Bell. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. One big play, and you go from a little backed up to threatening. It's first and 10 from the 40. Wide receiver shows motion. To the air on first down. Makes the catch. It's ETN. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Dogs pick up the first down through the air, and the Georgia faithful starting to howl and bark. And we've seen that in the past with Georgia. Maybe you get a little bit conservative, a little bit too much reliant on great defense, run the football. The reason that they broke through, the reason they started winning championships in the recent era, they became more aggressive, more dynamic throwing the football down. He stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage, they create separation, they wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Incomplete. 
They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. To the air. It's back. Fires left. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. This is not a straight-on kick, a 42-yarder from the right hatch. It's good. And now the lead's extended a little far. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. Catch in the middle. It's grinding stool. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. The Tigers headed quickly to the line. He'll do it himself. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Kept it on the ground on first down. See if they stick with that plan on second. They'll run play action. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, the offense, you're hoping the run fix going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Whoop de doo. You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Clemson will send the punt team out. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Excellent job on the punt. Bounces out of bounds at the five, and they'll have 95 yards to go in front of them. They'll run it from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down. Man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. On the ground, it's Etienne. Finds a little bit of room as he'll get two out to the six. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Dropping back, it's back. 
got him downfield. Gets the job done on third down as he gets it to the 25 before he's brought down. When your best is demanded on a big stage like this against a rival, he has delivered, cracking the 150-yard mark. No doubt about it. What do we say? Big-time players make big plays in big games. The games don't get bigger than this for this team right here. And this guy, David, has shown up today. And it's so nice as a coach to have that dude that you know you can count on. He'll put up big numbers, and he's been carrying this offense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. He's going to let it go. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. And the ball is intercepted. Touchdown, Tigers! A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do, because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. That's the type of explosive play you love to start a drive with. First down from the 42. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Pulls it and fires to the left. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside, probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Looking for a crease, it's ETN. He makes the tackle at the 37. It's a pickup of five. That's good enough for a first down. And uh, first down for the offense. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. And the Bulldogs have it with a first and ten. They'll give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys 
are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. They'll run it from the gun. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw its back. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. A first down run on the doorstep. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Second and goal coming up. Tries again to get it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Dogs! Follow the blocker. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, at least it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. They'll line up to go for two. He's looking to pass. Trying to get to him. He's got the two-point conversion, and they build on that lead. So they put together a nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Coming out on first down with the play fade. Finds a man on the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Brown. And he's brought down after a nice game. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. Clemson is quick to the line. They'll throw it on first down. The quick out. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. The quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. They'll put it in play from the 27. First down. They're going to throw it again. Setting up the screen. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Yeah, and you're going to see this offense find different ways to get this running back involved. It's not just going to be on handoffs, and they're certainly going to line him up in different places and even throw him the football. But the screen game's a big part of it, too. They're trying to get him going there. After the short completion, it's now second down. They'll try the right side. 
And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. Not at all. Great job by the defense getting the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to move. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Caught over the middle, it's Williams. And a confident throw and catch, and they're in the red zone at the 13. They're trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter. Their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. And the Tigers will have it first and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. To the air, it's Klubnik. It. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Nice job there by the receiver on the out route, not telegraphing where he's going. You can't be peeking to the outside, giving the defender an opportunity to break on the ball. He kept his eyes right down the field. DB had no idea where he was going, and that helped make that completion a whole lot easier. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Brings up Defense rolling out the big bodies to try to stuff the run. They go right back to their man on second and goal. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched families. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real part of college football, isn't it? And you can just feel that right now. It just felt a few minutes ago like this game was over, and all of a sudden, this team, they're believing in themselves. They've got some win. They've got some hope. Their defense now needs to get the football back to keep that momentum going. And now they'll empty the backfield for the two-point try. From the gun, looking for a man. He's got it had just enough room on the sideline to get the two. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense, too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays, those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. A three-yard pickup gets it out to the 28. It's second and seven. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Oh, it's loose. How in the world did the offense retain possession? And as a defense, you just want to steal some possessions, create some turnovers. You force the fumble. But, man, what a break for the offense to fall back on it. Those are... Those are moments that you just get a little bit frustrated because it's just, it's the luck of a bounce. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Back to throw. It's back. Unloads it left. A strike downfield. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. An offense has practiced the situation. This is four-minute offense. You've got the lead late in the game. You're trying to bleed the clock and just get first downs. They do that, they stay in bounds, and the clock keeps ticking. That big play is just what they needed. Now they have it first and 10 just outside the 40. 
reads it, fires complete. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes, you line them up all over the field, and nowadays you can start to feature them more and more in the passing game. Time is on their side, and they're gonna wind that play clock all the way down. He's looking for a man on second down. Fires to the tight end. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 for the first down. This is so interesting right now watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flag. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Fires to the wideout. He got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Well, things have gone pretty well so far, right? You've got the lead, you're playing at home, it's late, and you just need a few more of these completions to ice the game. That time, couldn't come away with it. It's a nice play by the defender, knocking it down. Let's see what they've got on second down. Oh, it's a reverse. Tripped up for the tackle. Ball is at the 20. They'll try to convert this third and short. Quick strike complete. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. You already have the lead. Scoring is always good, but milk the clock and it will be your friend. With the run on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. If they can get it in here, we could have a thrilling end to this game. And to the house! Touchdown Bulldogs! And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Play the analytics here and you go for two. Trying to run it in. And the defense drags him down. And they got him on the ground just short of the one-yard line. The running back, you could tell he wanted to get in there, wanted to use his power and try to try to fall forward. But a nice job of tackling by the defense and making that thing fall just short. He'll bring it out. It's Haynes. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. They'll crank up this drive with the pass, using the quick game. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. I think in this situation, two minutes, trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. Looking to pass, it's Klubnik. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. 
And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Pocket starts to collapse. They get to him as he throws. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. And this is why coaches get paid the big bucks. Tough decision on your own side of the field. Fourth quarter, I'm trailing. Is it go time now, or do I trust my defense? Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. It's complete. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. He's looking to throw it. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. It's second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He wants to pass it on second down. Coming after him. He's going up top here late in the game. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. Hey, you know, the defense here in this situation with a huge lead, they've got to anticipate that this offense is going to be trying to throw the ball to the sideline, so they've got to work different coverages to try to force the quarterback to go over the middle of the field with the football. The Tigers have it with a first and ten. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. With the catch, it's Williams. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Every second is meaningful, and they save a few of them with the spike. Third down coming. Third down, and this crowd will blow out a vocal cord to help this defense. Back to throw. It's Klubnik. Getting some heat. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And the heat gets there, and they get him down. 14-yard line. Whiteouts all wadded up in a bunch. Looking for space. It's ETN. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They get the timeout call with seven seconds left on the clock. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. With the game in hand, the offense choosing to just have the quarterback take a knee. 